Hey y'all, it's Alex from You Should Craft, and today I'll show you how to make a square using corner to corner crochet. All right, so in order to corner to corner crochet, you'll need yarn and a hook. I'm using an H five millimeter hook and a cotton worsted weight yarn. You will also need scissors and a tapestry needle for when you're done, just to like weave in your ends. So like most crocheting, um, you're going to start with a slip knot and a chain. This is actually going to be a really short chain though. I'm going to chain five, but you might also see people chain six. It just depends on how many chains you like to use when you're double crocheting. So if you turn a row and you do three chains, then you should have six starting chains. I like to start with two chains though, so I'm just gonna do two, and then I'll have these three extra. So I've got five. But again, if when you're double crocheting, you turn and you chain three, then you are going to want to do six starting chains. But I've done five, because I like that better. So now I'm just double crocheting. So I put my first double crochet here. I'll show you again. I put my first double crochet in the third chip, <laughs> third stitch from my hook. So here's one, two, three. If you had started with six though, you would be putting it in the fourth chain. So now I've double crocheted across. So we'll count this chain two at the beginning as a double crochet. And then I have three actual double crochets. So we've got four. And this is our first little corner to corner crochet square. So now I'm going to chain five again. And again, if you like to start your double crochets with a chain three, you'll just add an extra. So now just like before, I'll double crochet into the third chain from my hook. And then double crochet across. So I'll have a total of four double crochets. That's starting chain plus three regular double crochets. And then now you kind of turn this and you'll insert your hook into the chain from the first square. So again, you kind of turn it, insert your hook, and you're going to join to that chain two with a slip stitch. And now I'll chain two and I'll double crochet three into this space. And this situation that we've been doing is called an increase. So that's where you chain five or six to start. Again, I'm doing five. There's four, five. And that's because each row will have one more square than what you started with. So I'm going to have three in this next row. And you can keep going forever. So now I've got my first square and I'm going to join to the previous row with a slip stitch in this chain two spot. And now I chain two of my own 
put three double crochets here. Here's one. Oops. Two, three. And then I've got my next square. And so now I join to that chain two from the previous row again. And another slip stitch. Now I'm chaining two. Yarn over, insert your hook. Oops. And then these are my three double crochets again. So we did a couple rows where we increased, but let's decrease. So this will create a little square for us. So in order to do this, you'll turn your work, you will slip stitch across. So one, two, three, and four slip stitches. And now you're set up to put one square here and one square here. So just like for the squares, when we are increasing, you'll start with a chain two, and then you'll do three double crochets. So the only part that's different is that instead of doing a starting chain five or six, you're just gonna slip stitch four. And that just gets you to the right spot so that you can start making your little squares again. So now I've joined with a slip stitch, I've chained two, I'm gonna double crochet three. And now I'll join up here with a slip stitch. And then remember, we're not increasing. So you'll turn your work and you'll slip stitch across. So one, two, three, four, and then this row is only going to have one of these little squares that we're making. So chain two, and then put in three double crochets. and then join with a slip stitch. And I find that it looks cleaner if you slip stitch across the top of this one, even though we don't have another row left. So here's two, three, and my four slip stitches. So now I will trim pull it out and then I kind of even it out a little bit and that's it. If you were making, like if you were using these squares to make a blanket or something, um, you'd probably want to block them. I found that sometimes when you're making a lot of corner to corner squares, they can be a little bit like wonky shaped and blocking will just help give them a consistent size. But 
that's it. That's how you make a corner to corner square using crochet. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel, like this video, and head to the youshouldcraft.com blog to find more free patterns and tutorials.